Hi, welcome back to Dumbrate, and today we'll be demonstrating the reaction between uh, copper sulfate and calcium hydroxide, um, which is a double replacement reaction uh, which precipitates two solids, uh, calcium sulfate and copper hydroxide. So our first ingredient here is aqueous copper sulfate. It's a bright blue liquid, and it's um, it's fairly reactive. It has a lot of other reactions. Um, I've already covered uh, its reaction with sodium hydroxide in another video. Um, but in this video, essentially what happens is the copper uh, leaves the sulfate uh, for the more favorable copper hydroxide, uh, and the sulfate uh, bonds with the calcium. So the copper sulfate, uh, since it's already dissolved, I won't have to run over any solubility things with it. Um, but I'm going to be using one mole of it, which is approximately 15.4 uh, uh, grams. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm going to add in uh, the copper or the uh, calcium hydroxide. See how that works. So here I have calcium hydroxide. Uh, calcium hydroxide is sometimes referred to as lime water when it's dissolved into uh, water, when it's aqueous, uh, which is the condition I'm going to be using it today. Uh, calcium hydroxide is... Um, not very reactive um, as far as um, materials go, but in this uh, reaction it is um, much more favorable, or rather it um, much prefers to react with the sulfate and form calcium sulfate, which is sometimes referred to as abilene, I believe, uh, and that is a form of concrete. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be using um, one point, uh, no, I believe 7.4 grams of it, uh, which is approximately one mole, um, since it's a one to one to one molar reaction between these two. Uh, yeah. Okay, so step one is to measure out your reactants. So I'm going to start with adding in uh, 1.4 grams of uh, calcium hydroxide. So turn on the scale, automatically tears, and this will be my reaction vessel as well, uh, since the other reactant, of course, is liquid. I'll be adding that in via pipette. <laughs> All right, come on. I think that's about a gram there. So now I add in a little bit of distilled water to dissolve that calcium hydroxide. React that all, or uh, get that all dissolved. Again, calcium hydroxide looks like milk. It's not very soluble, so I'm definitely using an excess here. Perhaps I'll try it again with a lot less. Okay, next step is uh, get the copper, copper sulfate. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, 15.9 grams, but since copper sulfate uh, has nearly the same um, mass as regular water, I'm just going to measure it with a uh, pipette. That's 16. All right, now I'll add that in when the rest of the calcium hydroxide is dissolved. Okay, so here we are. Um, now I've got the copper sulfate, and we should see two distinct precipitates forming. Uh, the copper uh, sulfate reacting with calcium hydroxide should form calcium sulfate, which you probably won't be able to see due to the milkiness of this solution. And then, of course, we'll also be forming uh, copper hydroxide, which is a, also a blue color. So let's see what this, this looks like. Yeah, you can definitely see the uh, copper hydroxide forming. What's not visible is the calcium sulfate forming inside solution. There you can see some of the uh, calcium sulfate crystals forming along the side. Uh, within, so normally copper hydroxide is much uh, bluer in color, much more deep blue, but these, these lighter shades are coming from the calcium uh, sulfate, which again is called abalaster, and it's a, a form of concrete. They used to use it in uh, statues. There, you can see. It's one of the more beautiful reactions. Um, almost looks like clouds, I would say. The abalaster crystals forming in there, the gypsum or calcium sulfate to be more precise, uh, definitely contrasts and doesn't mix well with the copper hydroxide, but it gives it a very beautiful color. You can also see the greener shades of other copper oxides forming in there. Um, the calcium sulfate may also be producing greener shades from impurities, but it's definitely one of more, my more favorite reactions. It's the mixing of the blue and the white. It's very royal looking, almost like a 
blue marble. All right, that's all. Um, thanks for watching Adumbrate. Uh, that was the precipitation of calcium sulfate and uh, copper hydroxide. Uh -huh.